Hello and one and all and welcome back to yet another review. And this review I shall be continuing the Indiana Jones series that ended the trilogy or series or so we thought back in 1989. That is Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade which is once again directed by Steven Spielberg. And you have a uh, Harrison Ford once again, of course, as Indiana Jones, and Sean Connery as Henry Jones. And like with Raiders and Temple of Doom, this will contain spoilers. So if you've not seen Last Crusade, um, you have been warned. There's people born every day. You have been warned. Let's dig into this movie. Watching it right now makes me want to talk about it because my god, this is easily the most heartfelt of the Indiana Jones films by far because this film has heart, it has um, state going on, you know, some impossible tasks that Indiana Jones is going through, and just this could be my favorite of the films because. Te Raiders is technically the best made one, but for favourites wise, this might be it. So we open up with the usual Paramount logo that opens up this sort of uh, mountainry in the desert. Um, we are introduced to Indiana Jones, but it's not the one who you think. It's River Phoenix as young Indy who does a really, really good job as young Indy. As far as I'm concerned, he is young Indy. And God rest his soul. Just... That guy just... really was gone too soon. Just... I haven't seen any of the young Indy TV shows, but he... He's played by a different actor, but he, River Phoenix would have been just really good. I mean, come on. And of course, you're not introduced to Indiana Jones. You see a guy that looks exactly like Indiana Jones, but it's not him. Instead, it's a black leather jacket, and it is the fedora hat. And yeah, it's somebody else. And this is a really good opening. I love the opening um, because, you know, um, Indy is basically on the train. Um, you know, he's starting to... Uh, introduce himself with his fear on the snakes you know he can now uh, whip a lion you know and I just love the moment whenever um, he's getting the hat put on him and how it cuts into the present 1938 and of course Indiana Jones is on the boat you know there's action going on blah 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 and we Get Marcus Brody back. Yes, he was not in Temple of Doom. Yes, Marcus Brody does come back. And of course, we're introduced the uh, v the main villain of the film. Yes, the same actor from uh, The Living Daylights. Um, basically, um, Indiana Jones has to find this wee little picture that has this sort of grail symbol. Uh, has to uh, fix it only just having to draw it on the paper. So basically, uh, he and Marcus Brody meet this uh, th this film's love interest, Elsa. Basically, they're going to this old library. They're basically looking at these uh, numbers, and 10, the X, is on the floor, and basically they're going underneath there so they can um, fix up the picture itself with it just drawn. And of course, fire comes, and we get some more action on the uh, on the boat this time around. And Indy eventually finds out uh, where his father is, goes off with El Sir to find him. And of course, we are introduced to pretty much everyone's highlight of the film: Sean Connery, played by Indy's dad, Henry Jones, Junior. Just uh, the two of them, uh, Harrison Ford and Sean Connery, work 
so well. They are brilliant together. Just the dialogue between them and the humour of them. This is the funniest Indiana Jones film to date. And just, and of course, um, there's more action going on. They're tied to, in a chair. Um, you know, I love how they're spinning around. That kind of cracks me up a little bit. <laughs> then, of course, they're going on this um, um, uh, side bike. You know, eventually Indy's riding it. You know, there's more bad guys going on. And again, you get more banter going on with them. Henry just slapping in these hilarious and, you know, trying to get the book the, or the diary and the map. You know, eventually the Nazis are back. The Nazis strike back. <laughs> and yes, and they're eventually going on this um, balloon plane, uh, whatever you call it. Um, you know, and I love how um, Inya Jones is uh, constantly punching the uh, black Nazi out of the um, plane. It's really funny. No ticket for him. And I. And then you get um, Indy and Henry uh, going on this uh, plane. And then there's these plane, other uh, Nazi planes. And I just love how Henry Jones is shooting the back of their plane by accident. Sorry, son. They got us. And of course, they're going through this um, tunnel and they're at this beach. And as... As this is the funniest Indiana Jones film today, you cannot forget whenever Henry Jones is opening his umbrella, chip, 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 making all the pigeons attack the Nazis' plane. It's brilliant. And Indiana Jones thinking to himself, Jesus Christ, that's my dad. And of course, you, of course you get uh, Salah back, um, who is with Marcus Brody. And like with every um, big action scene with Raiders of the Lost Ark had the truck scene, Temple of Dune had the minecart chase scene, this has the tank chase scene, you know the Nazi bad guys now wearing white, um, you know they're eventually going off them, it's a very similar scene um, to Raiders but only it's on a tank and and I love how um, the dialogue uh, with uh, Henry Jones and Marcus Brody. It's brilliant how they first uh, you how you first get to see them together on screen inside the tank, and the tank eventually uh, falls off the cliff. And I love how Indy's hat blows off right off him. You know that's like pretty much a rare thing you see for Indiana Jones. His hat blowing off right off him in an action scene. And the emotion with Sean Connery just saying, I've lost him, I've never told him anything. And of course, Indy does uh, survive anyway. And then they are, of course, going to the, um, the see the last remaining crusade, the, the Grail Knight. And so all the bad guys are there, they're shooting uh, Henry Jones. Um, and so basically, um, Indy has a lot of impossible tasks, he's going across these letters, he has to go across the right letters, he's, he's looking at a book as an, if an uncharted, uh, inspiration, uh, video games as they soon got made. Indy is going across this invisible bridge, and I love how the music just plays out and how the um, bridge eventually is revealed and of course you do get the Grail Knight you know there's all these cups there you have to choose wisely um, when you pick the right cup up but the bad guy chooses first and he chose poorly um, you know he's his hair is growing he's, all, he's melting you know and yep yeah. I love this final act, it's brilliant. And yes, I do love the Raiders one, but Indy is basically just tied up, and Temple of Dune I love as well, which is mainly just action. But what Indiana Jones is going through in Last Crusade is big tasks you can possibly imagine. 
you know, going through uh, the right letters, go uh, letter stones, excuse me, or go through an invisible bridge and try and find the right cup to choose wisely. And so he's finding this um, cup that is not as good as looking as all these gold cups that could kill you to death. And eventually picks up the rusty one and chose wisely. And of, all, and of course he um, uh, helps uh, his father to survive. Um, you know, and I love that moment when a, the, um, he's trying to get the cup uh, that Elsa was originally going to get, but she dies eventually. And I just love the moment when um, Henry Jones is like, Indiana, let it go. So Henry Jones is calling Indiana Jones the name that he prefers to be. You know, Indy is accepting not to pick up the cup because his father is calling him the name that he prefers to be. And that was just really well done. I loved how it was played out. It was brilliant. And I love it to no end. So emotional. And of course the night waving goodbye with the music playing just is very touching. And of course you get more junior um, banter going on. What's all this Junior? That's his name, Henry Jones Junior. I like Indiana. We named the dog Indiana. You are named after the dog. I have a lot of fond memories with that dog. Follow me. I know the way. Ah! And of course, you cannot forget those four characters just riding off to the sunset. When I watched this, um, when I was a kid, it told me. Now this is how you end a trilogy. But as what franchises do, they had to make another one. <sighs> yep. So overall guys, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade might be my favourite of the Indiana Jones films. I love Raiders, it's perfect in every way. It's probably the best adventure film ever made with all the action going on and the great characters. But something that Indiana Jones has never had is heart. And that's why I think Last Crusade might be it. If I rank this and Raiders as my all time favourite movies if I was ever doing a video talking about my favourite movies, it's going to be difficult because they're both equal in their own way to goodness and just it would be impossible because I love both of these movies to no end whatsoever and I could um, tie the trilogy even though some people don't like Temple of Doom so I'd probably get hate if I ever did a video on that but whatever. But overall guys Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade has everything you would want, still have the action uh, bring heart to it, bring funny moments, have great characters, you know, uh, Henry Jones, who is played terrifically by Sean Connery, God rest his soul, this is easily his second biggest role, you know, his biggest being James Bond, other great roles he's in, like his Oscar winning role, The Untouchables, and Hunt for Red October, but overall, guys, on my letter grade scale, if I had a higher grade than an A+, of course we would get it. But on my letter grade scale, I'm easily going to give this an A+, or a 6 out of 5, 11 out of 10, 100% whatever, just... I love Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade to no end, and this trilogy as well, just... This is easily one of the best third installments we've ever gotten to any film series. Alrighty guys, that was my review on Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Comment down below let me know what you thought of this movie. Um, where does this rank to the Indiana Jones films for you? And let me know below and let's have a great discussion in the comments below. Well, that's the trilogy covered.
and I am going to cover Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. I will cover that. Um, so stay tuned for my review on Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. And if you are new to my channel, I'm a movie reviewer from the UK that likes to do movie reviews and classics, especially when a new movie's coming out. But as always, please feel free to leave a comment, smash subscribe and click the like button. Uh, notify the bell before you leave and share this video. All of my social media links will be in the description down below. And as always, until my next video, I shall see you then, and peace.